Hello guys, welcome back to my tutorial series on GD Script. So today we're going to talk about singletons. So singletons are scripts or nodes that you load and they stay active during the program. And the way you activate them is, so for example, I have this mat node here, this mat script I mean, and I just have some simple stuff, add, sub, multiply, divide. And the way you make it to singleton, you go to project settings, and then go to auto load. So you might be in general, auto load. And you could add let's add map and right here you could change the name if you want that you would access this by so let's see my mat or just leave it as that my mat then you could close now make sure you add and then close and then whenever you run the program you could come back here and run remote and you see that file is loaded I uh, might make a tutorial on this in the future and let's stop that so now, here in the main node, this is the main script. You could access that function, that class, by saying my math. You could add, let's say maybe 10, uh, 30, or 10 times 20, plus 20. Then we could just print that up, and we could run that. There you go. So doesn't matter what scene you're in, this file will be loaded. So it could make a different scene. And put a, a random node here. Let's say my math. My mat or print again. Print my mat. Or I could just try sub to 50 minus 10. And I could run this scene. Save it. There you go. 40. So if you change scene, that file will this the file will still be accessible. So that should be the end of this tutorial. But you could also do notes. So let's look at that. So instead of loading just the script, you could actually load an actual class. I mean, an actual scene. So you go here, load this background music, call it BGM. Let's make that all lowercase and close. So right here is my BGM scene. It's just a media audio player and it has a song by Alvin Harris. I remember the name, Josh Ban. And now in our main scene, you need to access that by going here. You could say bgm dot play and start. There you go. I'm sure if you can hear that, and that will play to the duration of the application. So you have to actually manually go in and stop it, or if it's not looping, it'll stop on its own. And that's about it. Have a good one, guys, and like and subscribe. Take care.